If you're tired of paying a fortune in storage costs for data you rarely touch, you're in luck because Tansco Cloud just released their newest feature called Data Tiering, which allows you to store old data on a cheaper storage tier resulting in a 10x cost saving. Sound interesting? Keep watching to learn more. Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis, and today we'll talk about Tansco Cloud's latest feature, Data Tiering. Data tiering is the concept of moving your old data from an expensive to a cheaper storage medium with the goal of saving money. Companies usually do this by taking data out of their main database and storing it in a separate location. This siloing means that querying both data sources in a single query is next to impossible. It also requires you to manually move that data and maintain a secondary storage location. With Timescale Cloud, that couldn't be further from the truth. Our data tiering is completely seamless, meaning you can query both tiered and untiered data in the same SQL query without having to do complex unions or joins. Querying tiered data is just like querying regular data. Additionally, data tiering is bottomless, meaning there's no limit to how much data you can store in your Timescale Cloud instance. Did I mention that tiered data is 10 times cheaper per gigabyte than untiered data? That's an order of magnitude. And if that wasn't enough, you only pay for the storage you actually use. So no need to allocate large chunks of storage way in advance. The best part, it's super easy to do. Let me show you how. If you go to the overview of your service, you will see a panel with the title data tiering. Click on the enable data tiering button. Once that's done, we can create a policy that fits your needs. In my case, I want my time series data in the sensor hyper table to be tiered after three weeks. Obviously, this is something you'll have to figure out for yourself, but as with all Timescale Cloud features, you can easily fork your database to try it out and see what works best for you. My query will look something like this. Select add tiering policy on the table called sensor with an interval of three weeks. And that's all there is to it. Any row that's older than three weeks will automatically be tiered, saving you a potential boatload of money. As a bonus, let's make some queries and see that my Timescale Cloud instance combines both tiered and untiered data seamlessly in the same query. We can see this in action if we take a closer look at the execution plan. As you can see, it does some sequential scans on our regular hypertable chunks, but then also does some foreign scans on OSM chunks. This is where our tiered data lives. To show you that you don't need to keep this in the back of your mind, let's do some joins on our data. And now with the execution plan, as you can see here too, it deals with the tiered data seamlessly as if it wasn't even tiered. And that's it for today's video. If you'd like to know more about this, make sure to check out the links in the description to read our blog posts and documentation. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Mathis, and I'll see you again next time.